As a counterpoint to my rant, let's... As a counterpoint to my as a counter as a counter rant to my as a counterpoint to my rant last time, let's play a mission which also has a whole bunch of gray and brown. <laughs> but it's more fun because I say so. Let us, however, go back to the start, since we want to beat our best times. Oh, look, there's a crate because I missed some glorious stuff at the start. Also, there's a glorious ladder. Did I just go up this glorious ladder? I don't freaking remember. Do I look like a guy with a brain? Whoa. Is this Scaramangadiz? No, it's just a kind of a place. Over there. Looks like a place I want to be if I was Dorothy and I was going back on home. Oh, these roofs don't look walkable, but they apparently are. Well, see, now this is the fun of this mission. I mean, come on, you get to explore the rooftops. Now, that may not be everybody's cup of tea, but I drink that tea all the live long day so much that I get caffeine poisoning and have a huge freak out for like 10 months long, okay? Great. This. Hmm, is this the only way into this? Apparently not. It is very special. I guess we're not going back to the start. We care about best times not at all. Looks like there's a bunch of readers. The knight and the knave, more tales of titillation. I don't know how titillating a knave is. The knightly visitor and other lurid tales. Well, now, I think these books might be titled slightly inaccurately, but we gotta have luridity and lucidity. Oh. The Lady of the Vines, Spicy Adventures. Well, I guess because pagans grow spice, it has long been known that pagans grow spice, just like Mexicans grew marijuana, and therefore the word was evil, and therefore the substance was evil, and therefore Mexicans were evil, and therefore people once again willingly didn't make sense in order to gain short-term profits at the expense of massive racism existing, and also jail space being taken up a lot. Political talk. Oh, looks like I got hurt again. Is this the start? Oh, it is. Well, I didn't mean that far. I meant this far back to the start. You know what I'm saying? Ah, those old pre-New Darky lighting. Uh, apparently, that you can't have the new 32-bit lighting if your architecture's too complex or something like that. Um, that's really a shame. Uh, it's weird that they improved the engine, but left some really weird limits, like this cell limit or whatever it is. I don't even know what a cell is. I know how to do the very basics in Dromeda, and I don't even know what a cell is, so... Yeah, I think it's a place where you rot in prison. Uh... One might imagine this hole is a little too large for me. I can easily deny. <laughs> Fortunately, I don't get punished for taking those things. Instead, I don't really get rewarded, but they're... Is something in this room complete huge spoiler, but I guess it maybe hasn't shown up yet, so oh well man I Need I need my own apartment key or something because I think this may be my actual apartment That's weird. This is so the worst show off mission ever because it really doesn't show very well But I've said that before I guess I'm still not doing anything bad enough for these guys to care, but I might be now Still not? Well, fine. I'll just invade your old guard space. I am, after all, only a black-cloaked guy who looks suspicious. Call me Sir Spicious. It's a guard's note. No, no, and a dozen times no, it actually is a glaive gizarm, you boffin. Horace himself told me so, and if someone knows his pole arms, it's him. Now pay up. When the shift's over, we're going out to arrest a few tankards, such as myself. Oh, wow, look at those amazing freaking weapons from the enhancement packs. Clashing slightly with the old school look of this other mission, but hey, we don't like to talk about that too much because you got the Interplay CCG. It's a collectible card game, and for some reason it's just referred to as CCG. It's great. No, it's not that, but I am babbling. That dummy's facing the wall in utter respect at not facing me. He wants to be polite and not cause me to be... Scared and afeard. Well, there's some weapons. That's a mighty interesting gift to be given in the game where you're supposed to sneak. Oh, I don't know about that, man. Surely, though, surely I'm in someone else's territory now. Also, you can get up on these. This is something I remember. I was like, oh, let's climb around, but I wasn't supposed to because alas and alack, there are no proper room brushes in these areas. And so, except for there that there is one, but hey. He's that kid in class who's different and doesn't like school, so we like to make fun of him because well, we're certainly not being screwed up in the head by placing in, in kids in an environment where it's easy for them to make fun of other people to make up for the fact that they're feeling horrified. Whatever. Do I get to pick a key off a guy? 
Not again. Well, I guess I'm invading someone's space now. Well then, I guess I'll have to try hard. Yeah, this looks dark, but isn't. Oh, you engine. Six. I'm not gonna waste one. There's just nothing here now. Come on. Good lord in the sky who builds things by smashing them with a hammer. That's not the right darkness. Well. Yeah. <laughs> At least this one freaking opens without a damn freaking key. But uh, I still don't have a damn freaking key, so. Not again. Yeah. I don't remember things. But I got a pub key. For some reason. Hmm. Detail. I just want to find all the secrets, like that one secret with Scaramanga Goodbadidis, and the secret with the uh, little statue in the statue thing. Does this guy care about what I'm doing? Hey, you, what, you're guarding some manor that doesn't exist? Oh, perhaps it does exist. Oh, perhaps it does. So, okay, no exhaustion, and no consuming things of a frozen nature. Okay. Oh, hey. It's a busted up old area. I absolutely favoritize those when I spit on the face of things. Wow. Looks like I might be able to get up there, but that looks like a little too far for a rope arrow to stick. Another one of these, huh? Weird. Well, there must be a switch somewhere. I mean, these wooden blocks must be telling me, hey, should have walked onto a wooden block. Oh, hey, there's. Oh, I remember this place. I tried forever back in the day to get places here to. There's that hole in the wall there, and there's that. What is wasted? I think you can probably use these. Perhaps with the new mantling, I might have better luck getting up there. I think I used to think that uh, the dope fish was up there or something, but possibly not. I don't know. Yeah, I think if I shoot one there... Oh, that does go all the way down. Well, what was I having trouble with? I don't know. Maybe I was just not as good a player as I am now. I thought there was a guy moving, but it's just a fire! Jeez, get away from me. So you get fire arrows. And possibly a door? No, it's just kind of a fire. Well, okay then. Good thing it's nicely ventilated. But it's just secrets like that that make this mission fun. And of course, there's even more ugly secrets in, uh... Oh, which I mean awesome. Dark, gritty secrets in, uh disorientation. Here I am praising dark and grittiness, but, uh, you know, I'm really bad at explaining my points. That's why I'm not Egoraptor. I keep wanting to say egophiliac, but I don't see any cutely drawn fillies over here. So essentially, essentially what you're doing is trading a rope arrow for some fire arrows. Not sure if it's really worth it, to be honest. Of course I could. Hmm. Hold them! Probably have a no kill. It. Don't kill unarmed people. I can kill the guard though accidentally. So I. Right. Well, Geronimo! <laughs> Victory! But still, I don't remember all these locked doors. What is the deal? Uh, maybe this will be my answer to my mumbling problem. Oh, great. <laughs> I am now in the Garden of Eden, never to turn into a creepy place again. Uh, but that, what? Really? I picked a lock for a couple of arrows and something else that I just got and have immediately forgotten what it was? Well, I... Come on. Uh, anything could be anywhere. That's the motto of this party. Probably not meant to do this. <laughs> Almost sadly. That looks like a thing. So does that. I think I tried to get into there when I first played this and never succeeded. Crate stacking and all. Maybe I could shoot one there. And one a bit higher. And see what pops out. Uh, dang it. Oh my god, come on! Don't bump me off like an idiot. Jeez, goddamn engine. Looks like they don't stick in this particular window, so I'm gonna have to try something else. I guess I don't know, man. Oh, wait a minute. This is already low enough? Jeez, these ropes are longer than I thought. That's odd. There must be something up here. Really? 
Really? Can you really not get in there? Weird. There's a thing beside. Ah. Really? All this time there was a little ladder here? Oh my god. Well, no, it's just... Once again, it doesn't lead where you think it leads. Jeez, well, I guess there's some money, and money is always good. Do I have a gold 2400? That seems reasonable. There's Basil. Poor Basil. See him run. See him die. See him carry the scurvy. Poor Basil. Wait. This is a thing that I forgot about. Well, let's go and check it out. I mean, I remember what this is, but I'm going to pretend that I don't. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, because you can't get back out that way. So, actually, I guess you just gotta go here, but you're not supposed to be able to mantle that, because this is pre-New Dark. So, I have to find a crate instead. It's, you know, quite the horrible puzzle that I just solved. It's, uh, you know, pretty amazing. So, if I wanted to get out, I guess it would be through there, th through the chimney? So now that- or through the blatant door, except... Not. Well, the map is the map. I mean, it's not that bad. You can kind of figure out where you are, except, uh, yeah, there's the start. There's that place with my apartment, I guess. And, uh, I am freaking somewhere. Well, I believe I wish to go down to hell, though, because this is, after all, Diablo. Pretty sure. This is some great commentary that always ends a sentence in a beautiful, beautiful manner. A girl has got to be fabulous to be a unicorn. No, wait, that's that's totally restrictive. You can be a unicorn even if you hate fabulosity with a passion that's rivaled only by the freaking hatred for people incorporated group of Iowa. I don't know why Iowa. I don't have anything against Iowa. It's just literally the first word that came to my head. This is Let's Play in Commentary 101. Say the first word that comes to your head, I guess. We'll make millions. Game Grumps 2.0, right here. I know there's a guy here. No one is fooling my ass today. Well, maybe somebody is. After all, whose ass doesn't like a good fooling? Or maybe that's fondling. Not quite sure. Well, no asses will exist today because there he is. The ass master himself. The ass man 640. He appears courtesy of his own damn self. But, you know... Yeah, that's an odd route, so you're going down, you're going down, you're going down, buddy. Well, this looks like some sort of a thieves hideout, and there's a navigator's compass, but fortunately, I have had the foresight to have my compass with me already, unlike some missions. Cough, cough, cough. Never gonna stop complaining about that, am I? Thieves key, well, that's weird. You'd think it would open that door if that door was not unprobable in the first place, and it's, uh, hmm, kind of wad. Weird and odd. Mifflins, I've been thinking, as good as the cellar we are now using to stash our incoming baggage looked when we set up shop, it seems less and less ideal. Yeah, it's technically two-way with XX down lock and beggar's take, but there are some real nasty possibilities around. There's the Hammer Seminary right across the square, and it's positively crawling with heavily armed nutbags. If something bad comes down, our advantage is nil. If we fled, we'd just run into mere nutbag territory. <laughs> Major nutbag territory, even. Look, I know you think I worry too much, but yesterday, there was something which could have sent both of us to Crags Cleft. I was taking a cart full of silk bales to the cellar on behalf of Molly the Spinner. Pays decent. I have your cut in the bag that comes with a message. And cursing the bumps on the street before Marcus, when a Hammerite spotted me and came over. He praised me for my industry and went on preaching sanctimoniously about the builder's virtues and progress while my belly was traveling up and down. What's worth? Worse, he also offered the aid of a few young initiates to carry the bales up and down the stairs. It's a good thing he accepted my word about not refusing my toils, which of course shows how downright gullible and out of touch these fellows can be. But what if he persevered and saw all that gold from the chapel spread out on the table? No, I say, we've overstayed our welcome. Let's quietly move house to Shalebridge, where no one asks inane questions. Maybe we could also see what's the deal about the old quarter. There's sure got to be something interesting around those parts. Grover. <laughs> P.S. I'm away for the next few days, paying our friend Frito and his girls a visit. You should also come next time. There's nothing like the baths to take the grime of the city out of you. Better take my offer before the mold down there gets you. <laughs> really. Nice new place. Time for a nice new journal, too. All in the Mifflin's tradition. Book, quill, and ink donated by the upstanding citizens of the city, as previously. Grover doesn't like the idea, but then he's not the guy working as a janitor with a bunch of time to kill when he isn't on the job. My place, my rules, my risk. Grover says it's his risk, too, which is right, I guess. But who would bother a nasty old coal cellar somewhere in Downlock? 
Rich guy keeps a bunch of empty bottles on a shelf upstairs, but that's it. Nobody likes the cold, the noise, and least of all the creepy noises from the well in the cavern. I don't know, but that isn't Burke work, and I don't like it much either. Still, as long as it keeps to itself, so much for the better. Of course, it was Timsey's tip. For such an unassuming little guy, he sure pokes his nose in much and knows all the best places in the city to visit. Could be pretty loaded by now from the cuts he's taken if it wasn't for his helpful pals at the Overlord's Fancy. Last I heard, Garrett was pissed at him for one reason or another and refused to pay him the agreed-upon amount for a job not delivering. What's his problem, anyway? Seems like a completely stuck-up creep. Doesn't get out, doesn't fraternize, just sulks and doesn't pay his friends as a professional should. Oh well, his loss and our gain. The warehouse was sure not bad. Grover had to clobber a guy with a pig sticker, but that's part of the job. We gave Timsey one of the fancy swords as a sign of our appreciation. Sure hope I never end up with him on the other side. He's fast like greased lightning when he's got steel in his hands. This is strange. Tomlinson hired new muscle to watch his front. Nasty blokes from the downwinders, both of them. What's he keeping them for? All the local professionals buy at his shop. Plus, there are already three heavily armed guards on the property day and night. I swear they never leave their post unless it's to follow him someplace. Oh well, only a complete idiot would try to hit Tommy now that so many of the old guard are leaving the scene and going legit to sell electrical stuff and whatnot. Reliable merchants are growing scarce nowadays. What are we left with? Farkas and Tolan, that's what. Another night, another job. I didn't even think the lower locks could yield so fat pickings and in a hammer chapel to boot. Hammers are nasty customers, but here it was just one decrepit old guy who went down after one solid whack of the mighty cudgel. <laughs> we just had to sweep the altar for the gold candlesticks and whatnot, and then there was even time to bring back a nice little extra for old Mifflins. I'm sure none of the other folks have something like this, except maybe the wardens if they took fancy. But Webster would also never have the appreciation of so fine things. I always thought something wasn't right with that guy. Now we just need some time for the buzz to die down and sell a lot to Marcus or Cuddy, whoever pays more for it. That nosy guy from the department was here again, demanding to see the coal cellar to inspect the boxes. I see a rat when I see one, and this one was stinking from the tail to the nose. So I said they were all operational and that there was nothing to see in here anyways. But he wouldn't relent and raised a pretty fuss over it too, telling he'd go to Master Wilkes, go to his department, go to the watch, and I wonder why I didn't say he'd go to the Master Builder, because I was sure expecting it by this point. But something's got to be done now, for even if Wilkes has nothing to worry about, somebody else could be. So better fix this problem once and for all. And I'm not talking about the silvers he gave me, neither. If he likes them underground holes, he can have them. Well, well, well. So nosy guy went down the hole, which is for the best, because now hopefully whatever stuff lives down there doesn't come up. And we don't drink that water anyway. Good job, Mifflin's old chap. Onwards the better things. Well, that was interesting. But now, the prostitutes. N no, wait. But now the people Snoop Dogg doesn't love. Did I just y go in here? Yeah, well, there's the well. Why, uh, why am I able to go down the well? I don't remember that. Well, there's a dead guy for sure, but how the hell do I get back out? I don't even remember this place. What, the actual feces? Oh, wait, wait, I think I do remember this place. <laughs> Do I pick the wrong skull and get evilly teleported? No, of course not. This is classic, and classic doesn't do stuff. Oh, wait. Then? Hmm. I think this is just supposed to be flavor. Major, major, major. Yep, but wait. Can I rope back up? Oh, <laughs> looks like I can. So I actually think this might be one of the exit points. For the mission, because he said there were two doors. One leading to downlock and one leading some frickin' other place. So... Oh, don't get to go all the way up the chimney. Reverse Santa is not to be existent today, unfortunately. I know how to move in the engine. Where am I now? Oh, I'm out here. Oh, so that's how you get up here. Well... Well, there we are, then. I know I took a bunch of crates up here one at a time at some point. Probably tried to get over there. And then up there, maybe? Hmm. I just don't know. I must take the fruit. Cock-a-crunch, except never, because I must not waste the fruit. I must instead let it rot in my pockets. Is. Well, that's what's in here. Just some loot windows at odd angles. Hey, no complaints from my mouth. Oh, I can get over there. Well, if I can get over here, then maybe I can take a closer look. 
See if I can spot the object. See if that window's an object. It might be. Not sure. Yeah, maybe not. I... Hmm. You know... You know, you know, you know. <gasps> Damn it. Yeah, well. Maybe there's something over here. Seems to be being led on a merry goose chase throughout Bruce Doctor Hoodland. Which is my nickname for the city. It's very affectionate. You understand. Whoa. Thawed. There's some crates over there. He astutely observed. Is this one of those places? It is. Bridge note. Subject to previous arrangements, delivery must be made within the toll and per elaboration. Wrecked amounts compensated for through counter depository number five. Notification per procuration M, present location or key well, tertiary cash. Breach currently unacceptable. High possibility of lower locks interference. Tanster. A mysterious note that has been left. Well, there's th three crates, and with Keywell's existence being confirmed, I think we can now go look for Bigfoot. So I'll see you guys next time. And I'll see y'all in the Builder's World.